We've come a long way in our journey with Python. It's time to build our first project in it. This will be a cartoonifier that will take in a picture and return a cartoonish version of it. This project works on one image at a time. Now to do this, you must first understand computer vision. This is the field of study that enables computers to see and identify digital images and videos just like a human would. Performing computer vision involves acquiring, processing, analyzing, and understanding digital images to extract high dimensional data from the real world. The purpose is to generate symbolic or numerical information that will help make decisions. Computer vision often includes processes like object recognition, video tracking, motion estimation, and image restoration. To cartoonify an image, we will make use of the concepts of computer vision. Let's talk about OpenCV. This is the library we'll be using to process the images. Short for Open Source Computer Vision, OpenCV is a library meant for real-time computer vision. It is a cross-platform library and is under the Open Source BSD license. It also supports the TensorFlow, PyTorch, and CAFE Deep Learning frameworks. This library is great for applications like gesture recognition, mobile robotics, human-computer interaction, motion tracking, augmented reality, and structure from motion. OpenCV is written in C++. There are two Python interfaces for OpenCV, CV and CV2. We'll be using this one. So here's what we're going to do. We'll convert the image to grayscale, blur it, and extract the edges from it. Then we'll blur the colored version of the image and add a mask with the edges. This gives it homogeneous colors and thick, defining edges, which together give it a rather cartoonish look. Open the command prompt and get to the desktop. Let's first create a virtual environment and activate it. Move to the cartoonifier directory. Now install OpenCV Python with pip. We're all set. Let's take a look at the code. This is the cartoonizer module. This is where the magic happens. We import CV2 and we have the function make cartoon. This takes a file path. We begin by reading the image with im read. Then to get the edges, we convert the image to grayscale with convert color, median blur it, and get the edges via adaptive threshold. Let's understand convert color. This converts an image from one color space to another. img is the image to blur, and we convert it from bgr to gray. BGR because in CV2 the bytes are reversed. Median blur blurs and smooths an image using the median filter. This filter calculates the median of all pixels under the kernel area and replaces the central element with its median value. K size is the aperture linear size. This must be odd and greater than 1. So this can be 3, 5, 7 and such. A higher K size leads to a more blurred image. Adaptive threshold gets the edges. In simple threshold, it uses one threshold value for the entire image. So for an image with shade, half of it may end up black. But in adaptive threshold, different threshold values are calculated for smaller regions. If a pixel's value is greater than the threshold, we may want to assign it a particular value and another if it is lesser than the threshold value. Here, 255 is the max value. To the pixels that satisfy the condition, we assign the value 255 for white. We use the adaptive thresh mean C thresholding algorithm. Thresh binary is the threshold type. We use a pixel neighborhood of 9 pixels to calculate the threshold value and also subtract the constant value of 9 from the mean or the weighted mean. Now, to blur the colored version of the image, we apply the bilateral filter on it. Such a non-linear, edge-preserving, noise-reducing, 
smoothing filter replaces each pixel's intensity with a weighted average of the intensity values from nearby pixels. It reduces the unwanted noise and keeps the edges sharp. We use pixel neighborhoods of 9 pixels for the filtering and use 300 for sigma color and sigma space. Higher sigma values indicate a more cartoonish look. Then bitwise and calculates the bitwise conjunction of color to itself and applies an operation mask to it. And finally, we return this image. So this function takes a file path, reads an image, then processes it to make it cartoonish before returning it. Now this is the cartoonifier module. The import will need stuff from ckinter, pill, and cv2. We create a top window and set its size, title, icon, and background color. To set the icon, you see that this is in the pictures directory in this directory. This is a relative import. We define a few functions. Now let's create a button that leads to the upload image function when clicked. We'll set some colors and fonts and place it at this relative position on the screen. So if we resize the window, it alters the position of the button. Suppose we click the upload button. Now inside the upload image function, ask open file name gives us an open dialog to pick a file from our machine. We open it with image.open and we resize it to fit the screen with thumbnail. Its width is the window width divided by 2.25 and similarly for its height. IM is this image. Let's create a label and set the image to IM. Pack it to the left of the screen and then call the show convert button function on this file path. Here it creates a button, clicking which calls the convert function. It then places this button at relative position 0.79 and 0.46. Convert calls make cartoon from cartoonizer and calls it cartoon. It then converts it from BGR to RGB. This is necessary because CV2 deals with colors in BGR. Without this step, your output will have the colors inverted. But this is a numpy array yet. Let's use image.fromarray to convert it into an image. Use thumbnail to fit it to the screen. Photo image creates a TK compatible photo image. Now create a label, pack it to the right of the screen. Expand is yes so it arranges itself on the screen comfortably, occupying all available space. And now show the save button. Here it displays the button to save the result to the computer and in this function it gives us a save dialog via ask save as file name. The optional file types are jpg, png and all files. And whatever the extension of the original image, we let it be the extension of the resulting image too. So jpg stays jpg and png stays png. Then we save the image with save. Let's see this working. This is our cartoonifier. Let's upload an image. Now cartoonify it. And you'll see the edges have been added and the image is blurred a little to get more homogeneous colors. Let's save it to our computer under this name. It's here and the extension is correct. Let's try different images with this cartoonifier in gray and in color. you see that all images work fine with this cartoonifier, some better than others. It works exceptionally well on this picture of a lady in grayscale. Today we've built a cartoonifier that will tell you what you'd look like if you were a character from a comic book. Wasn't this fun? Stay tuned for the next project.